Today, a man was charged following a suspicious death investigation. A prosecutor has charged Adam Connor with murder and tampering with evidence. We first told you this as breaking news last night. Officers were on the scene in the 1700 block of High Quest Drive from yesterday afternoon until early this morning. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from our newsroom tonight. Layla, what can you tell us about what we learned today? Yeah, Marissa, so we spent the day digging into Adam Connor's criminal history, going over court documents and speaking to neighbors in the area. And what we learned is that one of the women living there reported her roommate missing. And according to police, she had no idea that her, her roommate's body was in the garage. Columbia police arrived to the 1700 block of Highquest Drive around 3.40 yesterday after receiving a call for a missing person at risk. When officers arrived, they located a 58-year-old woman's body hidden in a closet. And today, 37-year-old Adam Connor, a man with a previous criminal history, was formally charged in the murder. According to the Columbia Police Department, Connor was recently stealing purses from elderly women's shopping carts at grocery stores. And yesterday... Connor's mother contacted police when she had not seen her roommate since Friday. Police found the victim in a closet in the garage. The body was under a rug inside the closet with a wheelchair on top of it. Due to the extent of the injuries, police were unable to make an ID at first. According to documents, police interviewed Connor, who allegedly gave an inconsistent time frame, leading police to look into him as a suspect. On October 8th, three alerts from the victim's medical pendant were sent out to the Columbia Fire Department within two minutes. The fire department arrived 12 minutes later, but were unable to get into the garage after someone stopped the door from completely opening. GPS said the alerts came from the home and operators could hear a constant panting. Connor was home at the time and spoke with firefighters. It was determined the victim died of blunt force trauma to her head. Trash bags of blood soaked clothes were found in the backyard. One contained a bloody claw hammer that crime scene investigators claimed was consistent with the victim's head injury. When interviewed by police, Con Connor's mother said he told her not to go into their garage. Now the police have not made an ID for the victim at this time. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Layla, thank you. A Morgan